not the biggest that I've seen, but definitely a good size for a pygmy rattlesnake. We just got, oh man, our biggest target of the night. What's up guys? It's my first time herping since I got back from Arizona. Took a little bit of time off and now I'm back at it. And uh, it's looking like a good evening so far. Just got on the board with my first snake of the night. Um, Southern Black Racer got off the road pretty quick. And uh, hopefully there's gonna be a bunch of other stuff moving tonight. I'll be able to show you guys some of the cool animals around here. really slow so far. The conditions seem to be pretty good, but as you can probably tell from the video, there's a bit of a storm moving in, and uh, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to affect things. And it doesn't seem to be a huge storm, but hopefully it won't slow things down too much. I think I'm going to go over to another area for sunset that uh, is not too far away, but I don't think it's got this storm nearby so hopefully that'll help things out all right so I made it over to the other area just in time for sunset and first snake of the night is one of my biggest targets a dusky pygmy rattlesnake and this is a pretty big one and really beautifully patterned too awesome snakes I'm gonna try to get some pictures of him. Right now I gotta get him off the road because there's a car coming. Awesome snakes. Well, it has been a very slow night so far. Finally just got my second live snake after dark. It's this banded water snake. Kind of a skinny guy. We're gonna get him off the road and keep going. Hopefully you'll see a few other things on the road tonight. All right, guys, here's one more look at this dusky pygmy rattlesnake. This is a pretty big one. Not the biggest that I've seen, but definitely a good size for a pygmy rattlesnake. This area, I've seen some pretty large ones. Definitely bigger than this, but this guy's not, not too shabby. Tons of mosquitoes out here tonight. This guy's rattle must have broken off. Usually by this size, they would have quite a few segments on their rattle, but you can see it there right by his head. He basically has nothing. It must have broken off. So big this guy is next to my foot. It's a decent sized pygmy. Beautiful snakes. Love to see them.
What's up, guys? I am back at it tonight, and hopefully it'll be a good night. This past weekend, there was a huge rain event here in South Florida, and uh, I'm hoping it'll have gotten stuff stirred up and on the move a little bit more, and uh, with the water levels being higher, that stuff will be up on the high ground a little bit more, so hiking some levees and trails and things like that. Hopefully we'll have some good success, so I'll check in in a little while, and hopefully we'll have some cool stuff to show you guys. All right, first find of the night is this really gorgeous yellow rat snake. We're just going to let him go and keep going because we're on a quest for king snakes tonight, but he's got some nice pretty orange to him. Look at that. All right, buddy, go be free. Don't get hit by a car. All right, next snake of the night, little juvenile cottonmouth. Look how this light lights up the snake for the video. Look how clean that is. The, the uh, frame? The light. the light? It's the same one that you have, I think. <laughs> you are horrible. <laughs> we just got, oh man, our biggest target of the night, a little baby Brooks king snake. Yeah, that is what we were looking for right there. Just periscoping in the road. <laughs> there you go, dude. I told you they were going to be moving. Brooks King. Now, this is just a baby hatch this year. You want to hold him? Yeah, he's in shed, right? And uh, he's going to get a lot bigger than this, but man, what an awesome find. Just a couple days old. Yeah, man. it just hatched. Settle down. Let's get see. A big one. Yeah, I mean, we're going to keep going, see if we can get a nice big one crossing the road. Really good conditions tonight. Let me get a little. All right, next snake of the night is this tiny baby Florida cottonmouth. Brand new baby with a nice bright yellow tail. He's do some caudal luring with that and attract frogs and toads and things like that to eat. This guy's brand new. Really bold colors and patterns when they're babies. Well, we're gonna keep going. All right, next snake's a little brown water snake. One of my favorite Nerodia down here. Just hanging out on the road. We'll get him off. Make sure he doesn't get hit by a car. All right, the next snake of the night is this nice red phase mangrove water snake. I gotta go. There's something else up here that's really cool, apparently. What do we got? Oh, nice. So, we got a garter snake. Same stop. Eating a little toad. That's pretty sweet. Look at this. Backwards, too. Yeah, he's eating it backwards. Is that a southern toad? I believe that's a southern toad, yeah. That's really cool. Hey, we made it to the mangroves. We did. First garter snake of the night. This is, I think, the second time I've witnessed a garter snake predation on the road. But that's pretty neat to see. So he's trying to swallow that toad down, and the toad's trying to blow himself up, make himself bigger. Pretty awesome. Nothing much is going on. All right. We're heading out because it's getting late and there's just a lot of traffic on the road tonight, but here's another baby cotton for your viewing pleasure. Another newborn from this year. Love to see these little guys. Very vibrant. All right, buddy. Okay, hit by a car.